Okay, I'm back. I tried to I tried to lay down and go to sleep, y'all, but <laughs> I can't. <coughs> I cannot. I'm just like I cannot. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just gonna use this opportunity to purge, um, verbally, express myself, uh, my emotions. How I feel and what I think um, at this moment of time in my life, uh, collective, <sighs> I've been going through so much stuff um, since a child, but in my adult years, I can definitely say that uh, I didn't, I never really had a, um, a stable adulthood relationship life. Um, a lot of the connections that I had and had in my life um, were always one-sided. Um, I always invested more love, energy, and effort into the people that I had uh, took close to me whether they were associates, uh, co-workers, you know, lovers, friends, it didn't matter. But I'm recognizing the patterns that's being repeated um, even in my, my uh, spiritual path. And I'm just going to say it because it's the truth. And um, I'm, you know, I'm just to the point to where it's like, if my ancestors cut off the video for me speaking my truth, I'm just going to keep recording until I get it all out because it's, it has, I've been held back for, for years um, from not speaking my truth about how I feel, how I look at things and how I can reflect on them, uh, what they do to me um, as far as in my mental and emotional state. And then when I get to that point, then my ancestors usually just, they, they step up and then they cut off the video because they don't want me to, um, say too much, but I've been held back for so long with, without being able to speak up. And it's, it's like messing with my mental to the point uh, to where it's like I'm ready to be a bitch to a lot of people. And I'm already energetically, uh, I guess you you could say, um, on the, the table, if you give a good visual example, is that I, I embody all of the uh, queens in the tarot cards. But by me being an Aquarius, I um I only embody the Queen of Cups sometimes, uh, but it's mainly the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, the Empress and the High Priestess that I embody a lot on um, the table. And, you know, being in that position is not easy. None of the positions that I was put in are easy, and they're very uh, long trials of res mm, not resentment but I'm like they don't have good outcomes and I honestly um me going through this experience and you know leaving it up to the divine to pick and choose who I need in my life is is not even a really good option for real, for real, because a lot of the people that the divine chooses for me, um, none of them really have been a good investment. Uh, none of them were good investments, really. Um, it's like he's just used to just picking lessons um, for me because these people are not blessings in my life. Um, they don't bring peace. They bring more chaos and havoc and you know, it's like I got, I'm tired of uh, lessons. I'm tired of being nice to uh, people um, who are not nice to me. 
And um, they have no intentions on being genuine and authentic and um, nice people to me. Their main idea of nice is to appease and say what the person may think that they want them to say or do, vice versa. And um, it's like their mind is always on sex um, or appeasement for the flesh. And it's like uh, the way that I feel is, you know, what's the point? Either way on both sides, if you choose to live right or if you choose to live your life the way that you want, um, you're going to end up suffering no matter what. And it really doesn't matter if you ask the divine to pick your love out for you. It, you still, I, I mean, I still ended up with uh, a bag of shit. Um, I honestly don't believe that me personally, my personal beliefs, I'm not going to say you guys because I, I can't control what you think or what you do, but I only can control me and I'm only expressing my true feelings of how dismembered my thoughts can get <clears throat> when I'm under a lot of pressure or when I'm in pain and I'm struggling to have an outlet. Um, and, you know, things that I'm, I constantly go through and I think of on an emotional level, not just spiritual. Um, I feel too collective and I cry a lot. Um, I get angry um, more than I ever have. Uh, even when I was little, uh, I find myself getting even more angry to the point to where it's like, live it almost I have to like control myself because it's like the people um they're a disappointment it's they're immature and it's like all I have been dealing with is immaturity uh, people who don't want to do what they need to do and then they project off on me because they don't want to heal and then it's like, I'm tired of dealing with the projections and constantly having to heal myself um, because the people that God chooses to work with me are not wholesome people. They're not good options. And it's like, it makes me feel like he's just picking random people um, to try to fill in a void and it it's discouraging me to the point to where I'm ready to walk away from my spiritual path all the way around and just go back to, um, you know, just staying to myself. I don't have to be promiscuous or loose or loose goosey or anything like that. But as far as in like, um, like believing in this twin flame shit, that's dead. Uh, soul divine mates, divine soul mates, that's fucking.